go hello guys how are you how are you doing um it is rookman here for animate me and you're welcome to another wonderful video it's been a while i posted i'm sorry about that and brother got to put some money in the pocket and make ends meet but i have something special for you guys today and what i want to talk about is editing so most of you have been creating simple videos most especially um, for those that have been creating um, animated music videos for um, different work that you've been doing but how have you been doing your editing and this is something that um, an editor one time um, showed me how to do and I think it would be really helpful if I share it with you guys as you guys have always been loyal to me and I, want to, I just want to show you this little secret and maybe it could help you but it's really for those people who want to edit music videos using animation or if you're using a real life video that you've um, filmed outside it's still the same thing I think so the first thing to do is um, you know do for those that, that know how to use Premiere Pro is Premiere Pro we are using but you can use the same um, technique for any other um, application any other editing application so you go to Premiere Pro you um, add a new file so in this case I'll just click new project and I'll just name it um, sample edit all right and enter for that then we have this Premiere Pro then I'll go to where my files are real quickly so I have a couple of files here that I'll be using as um, an example so I'll just drag this they're really quite short files so um, bear with me I have one performance here and here okay control code for that and I'll just drag that and I'll drop it in there all right so let me make this like this so I'll just drag and drop it here into Premiere Pro <clears throat> so voila we finally have our files in here so we have um, uh, practically um, two files here so this is the first file and this is the second file so so what we will do the main idea of this technique is stacking up the videos and slicing up the videos then deleting the, some part of it then immediately you now have an edited video then you can now go ahead and adjust as you want so as i like i said this is what i meant by that so you copy the first video let's say this is your first video this will be your base video so you you come here go to your next v2 your next video which is v2 make sure it's highlighted like this you click it so it's highlighted blue then you copy and you paste that's ctrl c ctrl v you paste above then on this next one here you zoom in a bit all right so we'll go to scale and we we'll just zoom in in a bit all right then we'll copy again we'll go to v3 copy and we paste all right let's drag that back and we zoom that one much more ctrl z we're shifting it then we'll bring it much more closer let's say at this level so that is all basically for this you can add it um since it's very small you can add it when you want or you delete it but just say let's say you you have a full video footage uh that is up to a minute or more then you just want to have it edited to make it look fun maybe you don't really have time to create so much um other shots in between so this is the concept the first video you have here let me turn this off so you see the first one is the full footage which is your base footage the next one if i turn it on is a bit zoomed in and the last one is much more zoomed in all right so you can go ahead and now just start cutting so you cut you're not going to cut the base video you're going to leave it as it is you're going to cut from the second um, clip so all you just have to do is like you zoom in a bit here i like to zoom in if you want you zoom in if you don't so you know you just give it so much cuts you can become you can be technical about it you can be um i don't know anyhow you want to cut it there's no rule to this per se you just cut 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 as much as you want and you can also zoom in to cut as little as you want also if you want it to be to play much more faster so then you probably zoom in here more and you know still do more cuts here on the top video 
you cut 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 let's cut you can cut into in between let it be like a wall if you want so you know you just go ahead and do a lot of cuts that you think is preferable so i'm just i'm just freestyling my cuts here say like this like this and like this so we now have this so the next thing to do is just you know delete the parts so let's say for this first part i really want the video to start with um the beginning you know when it's full so it plays you know so on and so forth like that so i'll delete this probably delete this delete this you know you just delete them randomly as you feel best fit all right then don't worry about um the way it looks because you can always go back and um <coughs> readjust the clips as you as you probably want all right so when you delete this this will now give you you know a, like a really quick um feel of um your video that you or your music video you are trying to um create most especially if it's performance based most especially if the video is a um, performance based all right you now get a good feel of um, the video so let's say this is what we have you know and just for the record you can keep on stacking more videos um, if you have different um, other videos that you've shot also you can stack them upon themselves and you know just randomly cut them out like this and at the end of the day when you play it this is what you have all right you now have a quick shot of everything just working perfectly well. Okay, so you could see now the video is not just um, there. The video is at least just working. Yes, I'm, I'm using one particular footage, but you can just see how the video is just <coughs> quickly edited. All right, real quickly. So now whichever part you are not satisfied with or you want to have insert in those videos you just go ahead now and you could probably stop it here and maybe say whatever song is playing there you can now insert or bring in a different insect here you know and just adjust it as you want you know it depends on, on what you are on what you are creating so uh, like i said i'm just giving you an idea of how these edits are being created so if you play it right now then you have a different video in between since this is like this from here we don't see his face so we'll probably just cut it out or you drag and zoom in that way so this is where we want we adjust it and drag it to that point so we'll put it as our insert so when when it plays So we now have this and our video continues and so on and so forth really that is the whole idea of um, um doing a quick very quick edit how to do a very quick edit when creating a music video so the idea is you bring in the video you bring in all the videos you have um created in animation or you have shot previously then you stack them upon themselves then you just do a quick cut with the first video the original footage not touch the second one you zoom in a bit the third one you zoom in more then the fourth one also you can shift it to the side the fifth one you can shift to the left side also and so on and so forth so when you make this cut you just have the video playing um a lot of stuff will just be happening by itself and <clears throat> you now go ahead and edit and remove the parts you feel like remove the parts you don't want so it makes the video much more interesting to watch and so on and so forth so that is the whole idea i hope this is helpful to somebody or some of you out there that um, are creating such type of um, uh, music videos or trying to create quick edits because you know you have to be fast enough to put stuff on youtube these days and and give a client what they are looking for so on and so forth so thank you for watching once again do make sure you subscribe to do make sure you subscribe to my channel and share for those who will be interested in such ideas and see you in the next video ciao look i never really had love before i just want to make you